final step in this bench process is to constrain the tabletop that we just created to our bench. So I'm going to put a make constraint between this surface and the top of the bench and apply. And then I'm going to do a couple of flush constraints, probably involved with the edge of the top of it and the outside support, like that surface right there. I believe this should have an overhang of one inch because I made the project or the tabletop, the wood piece, uh, a couple inches bigger. So I'm going to offset it one inch. Looks like it's got to be a negative number, and that looks to be okay. I press apply, and my last constraint is going to be another flush constraint, edge of that piece of wood to the... edge of the support I'm trying to make visible, which seems to be right here. I'm going to go to my top view again and do the whole one inch offset thing. Wrong way, negative one. That looks to be good. I apply and just one final look at it from the bottom up. That does look correct. I'm going to save this assembly. I'm going to leave the assembly file open and I'm going to start my IDW file. So that's creating a new file, English drawing file, and it's going to be an ANSI.IDW file. For those of you in class, if you're doing this, you may want to look ahead on the screen. Sheet one needs to be changed. Right now it's a D sized piece of paper. It needs to be changed to an A sized piece of paper. Right click, edit sheet and change it to an a size piece of paper which is eight and a half by 11 which is printable here in our classroom i will then go to my base view this brings in the default view of my project i set this up correctly so my front view is the front of the bench if i do that correctly i can then automatically create my top profile and my right side profile before i press ok i want to take a look at styles I want to have the hidden style on for this project, so I will see the hidden lines represented in the project from the top view. And it looks like my scale is appropriate. If I needed to change the scale, I could certainly do so. I press OK. Those are my three default primary views. Next up, I'm going to use the projected button, and I'm going to project the frontal view so I can get a nice little isometric in the top corner. I right click and I press create. From there, I may want to right click, edit this view. I may want to change the sh uh, style to shaded so I can see some color in my picture type view, my isometric view, my pictorial drawing. And lastly, you're gonna have to annotate the different parts. Somebody might have to build this project, so you're gonna want to dimension all of the available parts. Like that leg is 17 inches. I press okay, dimension again. That lag is an inch and a half wide, so I'm going to put this dimension in place. All necessary dimensions need to be put in place for your drawing. I'm not going to do the entire dimensions for this video. Um, and lastly, you may want to change the title down here. To change any one of these title block areas, you go over to the model browser and you go to Final Bench Assembly, I Properties. And that way you can change a lot of the details. So the author says Bugby S right now. If I wanted to change that to capital Bugby, um, I can. And I apply, and we'll see that it changes. It's now drawn by Bugby. If I want to change the title, I go over to the summary tab, the title, bench, assembly. I supply, and there it is. So make some uh, changes on your title block area, finish up the dimensions, and that completes the overall project. Thanks for watching.